Today's video is in regarding the new Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4 motherboard. It's a Z790. I'm going to be upgrading uh, my PC from the i9 11 gen to the i9 uh, 13 gen, 13900K. So I opted for the Z790 motherboard because of course you're not able to use a Z590 board. You need to get at least Z790. Apparently they're saying that you could use a Z690. The only issue with that is, is that you need to upgrade your BIOS. So if you don't upgrade your BIOS and if it doesn't support your old Z690 board, then the 1300K is not going to work. Uh, so right there on the box it actually tells you uh, chipset Z790 supports 13 generation. The reason why I ended up getting this particular one and not go with DDR4 is because I could still use my existing uh, DDR4, DDR4 memory and it's not going to go to waste as DDR4 is probably more stable memory anyways so that's why I figured to opt out for this option so my 13900K should arrive in a day or two uh, once that arrives I am going to install it in my PC so the only thing I'm going to have to upgrade is the board and the CPU and all my existing components uh, will be uh, still used. Uh, the power consumption on this uh, is a little higher, but I don't have to really worry about it because I have 1600 watts Corsair. Uh, power consumption, the TDP, TDP rating on a 1300K is 253 watts just for the CPU. So anyways guys, I just figured to let you know that uh, this option here is still available for people that want to continue to use your DDR4 memory uh, and also it's got the PCIe 5 slot which you could use it as a, the 4090 could easily be used in this board and, and, and take advantage of also the bandwidth which matters because a lot of people are probably putting in 4090s on the PCIe 4 slot which reduces the bandwidth and you're not getting the true performance of uh, the 4090 anyways guys I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video um, in a few days I will let you know how things go, but the 13900K will be in my system and it should be a powerhouse. And uh, as well, I was reading about all the benchmarks. It beats the Ryzen 9 7950X CPU. Uh, basically, blows all the CPUs out of the water. Very, very good CPU. Anyways guys, have a good day and take care.